I don't think we'll ever hear and see what we saw at the end of SmackDown tonight from Bray Wyatt ever again in a WWE ring. That was Wyndham Rotunda returning to wrestling. And I honestly, that hurt, that hit me hard, man. As a Bray Wyatt fan, that one hit me. Of course, WWE have tweeted out simply hashtag thank you, Wyatt. And very appropriate. I think that's literally the, all the words we can say is thank you, Bray Wyatt. But we didn't get any answers. We still don't know what's going on. And yet we're satisfied. This is great storytelling and it's only just got started. The mask came on the screen right at the end of Bray's promo and basically told him, your life is over. Now, I think that was signifying that this was Wyndham. This was the real Bray Wyatt. But now you're back. Your life is over and it's time to show the world what you're truly capable of. And that is as Bray Wyatt. I love that. That would be such a cool little classy little throwback. A lot of people wondering, could that mean the mask itself controls Bray? This is very reminiscent of The Fiend. The Fiend would appear on screen while Bray and Alexa, for example, was in the ring. And it was treated as two different characters. Is that what they're going for again? There was a lot of hidden images as well flashing up through that promo that we have to talk about this. This one flashed up a couple of times and it's like of a goblin-like creature with massive teeth, massive nose. No, it's not Triple H. <laughs> but look at the tongue. This is what interested me, the red and the black. Very, very significant because it kind of reminded me of the top that Brody Lee used to wear. I mean, it's not 100%. This is, I think, I can't find the image I want. I know there's an action figure, a Mattel made that's much more suited to this. But honestly, I just wonder if this could be a little bit of a tribute to Brody Lee, to Luke Harper. And could that mask be Uncle Harper? Multiple times tonight, we saw this woman's eye and this was involved in the Hit Row segment and in that final promo with the mask too. Now, it does look like a female's eye. Again, it could be a male but it looks female. A lot of people wondering, could that be Liv Morgan? Liv Morgan definitely going through some kind of character change. We saw it more tonight. We also saw the Wyatt logo behind her tonight. Also what looks like a hooded figure. Not sure if that's true or not, but we'll see. But nonetheless, you can't deny Liv's character right now is one who seems to enjoy pain. It's one who likes to inflict pain. Very dark. Look, she's wearing all black. This is unlike Liv Morgan we've ever seen before. People also wondering, could this be Alexa Bliss? Of course, we know Alexa is suffering with an injury right now. She wasn't at Extreme Rules or Raw, for example. But when she was able to return, could she be in that role with Bray Wyatt? It's possible. The mask was telling Bray to come with him. And you don't know what you're even capable of yet. This definitely sounds like The Fiend. It sounds like stuff The Fiend would say, and I wonder if this is meant to be uh, not an evolved version of a Fiend, but a better demon than The Fiend. I do wonder, and I like that tie-in that Wyndham, his real life is now over. Everything he though, did as Wyndham is over, and now it's time to show the world he's Bray Wyatt again. That, that's a nice tie-in to what we saw. I really do like that. Of course, other images used included the skeletons. We've seen these before, obviously signaling death and destruction is coming perfect definitely fits Bray Wyatt's character we also saw the logo behind Triple H with Rey Mysterio too a lot of people have sent me this and I love this theory so shout out to everyone on Twitter who sent me this because there's a great theory that maybe this is because of Rey because of Patricide Patricide talking about the father and stuff and I just wonder if maybe Bray's watching Rey now he's on Smackdown the timing fits right just like at Extreme Rules, we know the door was back tonight. So that looks like it could be something that's going to continue with Bray Wyatt's new entrances in WWE. Bray also had a brand new theme song. Absolute banger. Haven't had a chance to listen to the lyrics of it properly yet. But honestly, it sounds great. One question, though. Do we think that's his real new theme song? Could that not just be the theme song for Wyndham? With Bray knowing he was coming out as himself. Did Wyndham choose that music as possibly a one-off? Something to keep an ear out for. Maybe next week or weeks in, you know, going forward. Is if we get an even newer theme song. 
I don't know what this means, but green and purple lights was kept flashing on the screen during the transitions of that promo segment with the mask as well. Something to keep an eye open for. And of course, we saw the moth in black and white, the right way up, seemingly without the logo on it, no circle around it as well. So just again, something to remember. I think this moth is definitely something to be taken accounting for going forward. We also saw that rabbit-like creature again. This is, this is telling me it's something. The fact we've seen it now in every single promo so far tells me it's something. And then we saw this. Oh my God. Now, I assume this is female. I think most people are assuming this is female. I mean, men do have long hair too, but I don't know. It's very hard to tell. Obviously, the photo is in a negative, so it's very hard to actually see what anything's about. You can't see eyes or anything like that. Facial structures covered by this mask. But it does look female. And I think this adds to the theory of a female joining Bray Wyatt. Kind of does make a lot of sense, especially if you are going to do a new family. Maybe this is Abigail. Maybe this is someone new. We just don't know. And th I love the way they've basically told us a lot of stuff without telling us anything at all. <laughs> honestly, as a fan, I love this because it means next week is still unmissable. Everything is still, anything could go any way. I mean, Fightful's early plans completely changed from what we understand. So everything's up in the air. We'll just have to wait and see how it goes. But we got to say, that promo from Bray Wyatt, amazing. Amazing. Pulling at the heartstrings for sure. It hit me right in the feels. But let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Like, share, subscribe. All the good stuff. And I'll see you next time. Peace!